Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install and configure PostgreSQL 17 on Kali Linux 2024.4. Kali Linux 2024 onwards, no need to install PostgreSQL. By default, it is coming as pre installed software. Okay, so let us verify sudo systemctl status PostgreSQL. See, PostgreSQL is already installed, but it is not started and enabled. Okay, control it. So, no need to install. Start the PostgreSQL server. sudo systemctl start PostgreSQL hit enter. Now, if I again sudo systemctl status PostgreSQL. See, PostgreSQL service is started. Q to quit, control L, also enable sudo system CTL. Enable PostgreSQL. Hit enter. Okay, we have started the PostgreSQL service and enabled. Now connect to PostgreSQL server. sudo su hyphen PostgreS. PSQL. See, this is PSQL client version, but verify the PostgreSQL server version. See, PostgreSQL 17.2 is, is the latest one. At the time of making this video, it is installed as pre-installed software on Kali Linux. Q, sorry. Now, the first step after connecting to PostgreSQL server is we have to set the password for the Postgres user. Command is alter user Postgres with password then provide new password. It is up to you. We have successfully set. Now verify list of databases comes with PostgreSQL. See, these are the three default databases comes with installation of PostgreSQL on Kali Linux. Also verify list of users. See, we have only one user that is Postgres which is super user. So let us create a database. Create. Create. Database. Now verify again. See new database is there. Now switch to this new database by using the command backslash C R connect. Both are same. So then give the database name. Now create a table in this database and insert some data into it. Create See, we have successfully created now verify list of tables. See, we have created table customer and its owner is Postgres and it is created in public schema because we don't have any schemas. See, we have only one schema that is public. Okay. Insert some data into this table. Now verify the data. See, we have inserted these three rows. You see here, we have given the star. It means it retrieved all the column values of the table. But if you want only particular column values, just you have to mention the column names like this. See, we got the that particular column values. We can also apply where conditions and etc. Okay. Control it. Now, find the PostgreSQL data directory, log directory, configuration file location, HB config location. Okay, so to find the data directory, you have to use the command show data underscore directory. See, this is the data directory. 
you want to find log directly just give show log underscore directly okay and if you want to find the config file location show config underscore file this file contains postgresql configuration information and hba file hba means host based authentication see this file contains authentication rules see this postgresql dot conf and pg underscore hba dot conf file both are in the same directory okay now if you want to exit from this psql use exit or you can use the backslash key okay now we are going to see how to stop start and restart postgresql on kali linux 2024 exit from this postgres user now stop the postgresql server sudo systemctl control l to clear screen system ctl stop postgresql hit enter now verify the status see also verify by trying to connect to postgresql sudo su hyphen postgres es square c we are unable to connect because postgresql server is stopped i'll see why i have run stop and start with this user but not with this postgres is this user doesn't have the permissions so let us try to start postgresql with postgres user sudo systemctl start postgresql see it is asking password and it doesn't have the permissions so we have to exit from this postgres user then only we can restart or start with sudo user permissions so sudo systemctl start postgresql hit enter now verify the status again see postgres equal service started three seconds ago q to quit now restart the postgres equal server sudo system ctl restart postgres equal it is done until now we have performed actions by using psql client you can also connect to postgres equal by using pg admin or db bar so there is a link in the video description how to download and install pg admin on kali linux now we will see how to connect to postgresql from the pg admin okay open go to applications pg admin 4 click on it as i told you if you want to install pg admin on your machine then there is a link in the video description you can go through it and you can install on kali linux maximize it now we have to click on add new server or right click and select restarts then server then provide the pg17 name can be anything then here we have to give host name or address host name is this is the host name so type host name see this is the host name or you can give if config that is ip address see this is the ip address you can give this one or local host anything is fine so i'm giving local host then username database port number 5432 database username postgres then provide the password of this user then click on save see we have successfully connected expand it see we have the bank database if you want to perform actions right click query tool you can run the same queries okay so in this video we have seen configure the postgres sql server on kali linux 2024 then we have seen how to connect to postgres sql from the psql client and pg admin for more postgresql or kali linux tutorials please subscribe my channel thank you